Well, greetings once again, <laughs> good people. Um, so, another series and another seascape. Um, sorry for those of you who don't like seascapes, but <laughs> this is pretty much what I'm about. Um, Righty-ho. Um, this, this, for this series, we're doing a... Uh, a nice lazy serene seascape um featuring um Mooney, Mooney point in cape town as our subject and uh kind of looking up from looking from the uh the curve of the um what do you call it uh promenade um, further down, up back towards Mooney Point itself uh, with the lighthouse and what have you to the left and then the, 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 the wharf or jetty or whatever you want to call it stretches out a little bit before, it, before the, the bay continues back on the other side. Um, so yes, we've got a nice sort of wave coming across gently um, washing over the the rocks and kelp and whatever that's in the in the sort of foreground area. So let me have at it. I've already established a horizon line, so I've done my cheating and I don't have to get my uh, T square out again and all that sort of thing. So uh, we're just going to 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 take off with some charcoal uh, to begin with. So welcome to any new uh, viewers, um, and if you are new to the channel and if you like what you see. During the proceedings please hit the like button subscribe hit the bell icon as well so that you get notified of any future uploads and um and welcome also to any new subscribers so uh yeah uh fantastic love to have you on board um alrighty let's see how this goes shall we where should i begin where should i begin perhaps at the beginning beninging at the Beningi. Right. Now we've got this. Just want to establish this where this. So I call it a wharf a pier. I'm not sure quite what to call it. So along the along the promenade, um well between the promenade and the rocks below, it's quite a sheer wall. Um, that stretches all the way along um, and goes around the corner there and what have you got a couple of a couple of bends and and and, and loops um, and uh, so it's raised probably 10 feet above the above the the uh, rocks and bit of little bit of beach and sandy bit below um, and then you've got a rocky stretch that's that that reaches quite far out and then the waves come come over that so it's a lovely wide promenade to walk on beautiful um, so yeah and then there's this lovely old lighthouse uh, which I shall talk more about once I've once I actually start working on the lighthouse, um, even though it's quite small in the background and whatever, but, but, but there it is. Um, so I shall talk more about that when I'm actually working on it. Um, it's history perhaps and a couple of, a little bit of useless information and so on. So that's the plan, Stan. Uh, Just want to kind of just get this going to begin with, and then I, I want to also I don't want to put it in too much detail and things, you know. You know what I mean? Okay, so that that, that first starters, I think that's a little bit too too deep. I need to keep that curve quite a bit shallower. 
In fact, it pretty much goes straight here and then and then and then starts to curve. Anywho, that's very subtle detail. For now, this is this is just fine. Um, I can work on the rest on the rest later. So round about here, we've got. Uh, lighthouse stands and I'm just going to indicate very faintly what that is and where it is etc we've got a couple of buildings and what have you around it um, um, no it doesn't stand there I don't think let's just move it across a little bit here just want to get the gist of this going to begin with so uh, I'm just sort of loosely working off my reference sketch, which I always like to do, as you know. Yeah, then we've got palm trees and what have you going on. And the lighthouse itself is set quite far back, maybe a hundred meters back from the uh, from the actual shoreline. Um, yeah. So, anywho, oh, that's that's it. As I said, it's quite a nice, straightforward, unpretentious. <laughs> um, not a very highly evocative scene. Um, there's not a lot of drama. Um, I'm going to get some nice little highlights and and uh, reflections and refractions and so on going in the water itself, and that's pretty much what's the, what this is about. You know, it's a seascape, so you know the focus is the sea, not the lighthouse necessarily. But the lighthouse is a nice prop um, feature for recognizability and recognizability, recognition recognitionism um so yeah we set the basis up in charcoal as i always do and set up a, comp a basis of my composition in in charcoal, we've got a and of course a little bit of white. So we'll use some somewhat. Um, Conte, mostly Conte to, to start getting this going and otherwise uh, chalk pastel, the white chalk pastel, you know, you know what I mean, so just get, to, just get the basis of this structure going, um, the structure of the composition, the bones of the composition, the skeleton. Uh, and then take it further forward from there. And then it's a nice um, disturbed surface of the water, so the, the the wave has come washing in, and then it's left this long trail of of uh, foam and what have you floating on the surface. A um, little bit of disturbance where there's some some rocks poking out the water. Yeah, like I said, it's a nice, serene um, setting and what have you. And uh, just, as I said, recognizability, but but um, <clears throat> also just giving, setting a mood. Every artwork needs a mood. Um, and
Yeah, so that's really what I, what I fundamentally wish to create. It's a nice, it's a nice mood, a sensation that, 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 that well, gives rise to sensations of uh, smell and, and sounds and what have you. The, 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 the smell of the, of, the, of the kelp when it's exposed as the waves um, surge back away from the rocks and and whatever this kelp is floating in the water um in about perhaps six to ten feet of water sometimes and it darkens the that it darkens the water so it's not this and this is gonna this is why it starts to to to, to get interesting and this is why i enjoy the sea so much and uh, depicting the ocean because there's f further out as the trajectory of the eye becomes um, more and more acute um, um, so you get more reflected reflections of the surface of the water because you can't see into the water as the uh, um, as the angle becomes more obtuse uh, towards the foreground so so the you can see into the water as well as the reflections and then you see reflections of the wave itself in the water um, and then it starts to get interesting because you've got some lovely dark uh, rocks and kelp and whatever you underneath the surface of the water and or and some of the rocks poking out you've got this foam disturbing the surface itself and then you've got you can see into the water a little bit and then you see reflect reflection blah, 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 reflections yeah so that's for me it's 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 I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm, I, certain things draw me in, and um, certain things take my fancy. Um, perhaps nostalgia. I think nostalgia plays a huge role in any of my work, um, and and that's what gives rise to the passion and the energy that 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 then is um, apparent. Uh, in the artwork itself. I'm literally just doodling around here, just building it up slowly um, as we go. <coughs> um, obviously, with a small, uh, a very small um, reference sketch, um, I, I can't get the necessary necessary detail that I want. So, um, um, but it's it's just there for as. Well, as it's, as it's, as I say, it's for, there for reference purposes only. <clears throat> I'm not coughing, copying. Goodness me, really twisted my tongue today. Um, I'm not copying my reference image, just as much as with my reference image, I'm not copying any of the f photographic reference that I used to create that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah so then it becomes its own it, ha it takes on its own kind of character and and uh, and so on <clears throat> And as I was explaining, or have explained many times in previous in previous sessions of my artsy musings, um, the artwork I, la I, I, I allow the artwork to depict itself, to tell its own story, and I just I just go with the with oh God, I hate the expression go with the flow um, I just go with whatever is asked for as I'm speaking to you I'm just doodling around here I'm not really focusing and concentrating on on what I'm doing I will I will concentrate at the times when it is necessary um, such as if I'm applying my acrylic paint 
or something into a specific area and I'm looking for a particular effect and there I need to concentrate a little bit, little, a little bit more than I shall. <coughs> um, but, so in the meantime, I'm just letting this come together as it desires. Small wave coming in. It's it's trundled all the way in from f much further out, um, way out uh, backline, perhaps bit la much larger waves. But then it's it's pretty much spent itself as it as it comes into this sort of sweeping bay. Um, so that by the time they reach the the rocks here, they 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 had small little waves, about you know two feet high, perhaps. Maybe a little bit more, three feet or something like that. I don't know. Half a meter, something around there. Half a meter to a meter. <clears throat> and then we've got some beautiful, beautiful reflections um, in the color of the color of the water. Um, the, the reflected sky, um, other, you know, sometimes the kelp underneath the surface will be catching the sunlight or something like that, and it gives its own little, little, uh, little bit of color and, and so on. So, no, I don't want that to be too much near the center. I'm talking to myself, so. It, Ah, uh, we can make that about there. Sorry, talking to myself there. And then we've got a focal point, which is kind of down here. We've got this lovely little wave that's just sort of giving a bit of a curl and then a lovely white shimmery reflection of the foamy bit uh, and just beneath. So that's kind of where our focal point is. And then we've got this, you know, and, and, and it's, like a, it's like a roving focal point. If you can imagine this, um, you, you know, Given that I'm trying, I'm looking to depict the ocean in motion. Um, I want to create that sense of that sense of movement um, through contrast, use of color, a little bit of um, you know the the energy involved, um, the feeling of of this motion, um, because. As I said, this is this this is not about the. Sorry. This is not about the. Lighthouse, but the lighthouse is there. And. You know, so we got the but the lighthouse is a kind of secondary focal point, where it's going to be quite interesting because depending on how, how I depict it. You know, the lighthouse has got red in it. It's red and white stripes, um, angular stripes. Um, and, but it's sort of set behind trees a little bit and what have you, but it's there, but it's, uh, but I want to work on the impression that it is static versus this focal point, which is moving. But, it's just the idea of movement. So with any image you, you, you would, would observe, you can, let's say it's a photograph. Now, and there's going to be a focal point or, or maybe more than one focal point. Um, 
but the eye is drawn to the to the one where you've applied motion so we see a, a, an image it reminds us of something or we recognize it or, or whatever it's already moving it doesn't have to be a, a, a video um, it's already in our mind's eye we create the rest of the story to that scene so we get build we have an emotional response to something and then we build the story so it actually is much it's it's it actually is i think a photographic image or a, um, a like a, an artwork is a, is much more engaging than a video a video is is lovely yes um and i might be treading on the toes of some cinematographers and what have you who you know it's an art form of course but to me when when so we, we let's say so we sit around and we what we'll we'll watch a, a movie okay on netflix or whatever the case is we relax get our popcorn we chill we do that to relax we do that to uh to not have to think um so that's what that's what a video is like uh, you know so it, it's nice it's it's uh you know let's say a video of a scene like this it's lovely and gentle and we get the picture and what have you the movie the, the, the video ends and oh, it's it's done with an with a photographic image or a uh, an artwork for example you can dwell there for however long you want <laughs> because your mind's eye is putting together the scene as a whole as if you were there so there so that so the the mind creates the motion and everything else that goes with it the sounds the smells the the the, the sensations of 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 coolness of the water or whatever that whatever it might be <clears throat> excuse me um the mind makes all that up and that's what i think is a little bit more challenging because it gets you thinking it gets you it gets the mind working rather than simply just shifting it into into uh neutral and and allowing allowing it to to to, to uh to just kind of vegetate yeah there's a little bit more of a challenge because there's a couple of different focal points there's other little items of interest which engage you and and draw the eye and then uh, you kind of wonder just bec you know because there's perhaps a little bit of abstract involved it's not it's not a um a photograph um photorealism so there's a little bit of abstract allowed um, that comes in and yeah so then you start making up stories for yourself completing the completing the pic the, the the pictorial area and beyond and that's what's even more important is because now you're adding in other stuff going okay where is this okay yes i know that i know where that is um and then your um the memory then perhaps the, the the recognition kicks in and your experiences of the particular place um and then you start filling in the rest where the where the mountain is or you know where c point green point and whatever whatever the surrounding areas are and then you start then the mind just wanders further and further as you're gazing at an image like this so and I don't know why I brought that up in the first place. <laughs> so I've gone way off topic again. Um, yeah, I think it's it's why I enjoy seascapes so much is because there's, there's such a story to tell, and there's and there's so much more that is left to tell. That's the fun of it. Just as much as I'm busy working with this, it's 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 such a it's such a lovely sensation, it's so therapeutic for me because I can share what I'm doing, I can 
talk my way through it and whether I'm talking gibberish or not. But I'm thoroughly enjoying the process and I'm really enjoying sharing the process but also reasoning with myself. I, I, you know, as I'm speaking, I am qualifying it for myself, qualifying why I, what I'm observing, why I'm, ob I'm observing it thus. Which makes it even more fascinating for me because I start having these realizations as to, gosh, the importance of, of how we language stuff and how we observe and how we interpret and all these sort of, sort of things. Many of you watching might not have, might not be familiar with Cape Town or specifically Mooney Point or or uh, or anything, but 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 that's also the beauty of 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 art of because you're creating an energy and the energy then you translate the energy for yourself. You get the sense of motion and it perhaps reminds you, the viewer, of some other scene. You might not want to, you might not be in a, a you looking to purchase the artwork for that reason because you don't maybe know where it is, but somebody else might. Um, and this might be the piece that is just waiting for somebody to adopt. I don't know. I wish you would, though. <laughs> Whoever you are. So if you are out there and you'd like to adopt this or one of my artworks, because I do, I do share the workings of nearly all of my artworks um, throughout. So you, you, if you were to purchase an artwork of mine and and, I, and, I, and it's featured on on YouTube, then you you're seeing that how the artwork came together from start to finish and my reasoning and, and uh, influences and inspirations and what have you to boot, free of charge. Um, so yes, if you would like to purchase one of my artworks or you would like to perhaps even commission me to do an artwork, feel free to get in touch, please do. I always, and Hell, you know, if you just like to comment or uh, share something or ask a question or whatever it is, please, please, please do. I know I'm always going on about about that, and perhaps people don't really want to respond or whatever. No, that's fine. Um, if you just enjoy watching the proceeds, watching a, an artwork come together, then that's also fine, hundred percent. I, that's that's what I'm here for, you know. That's what I'm. That's why I share my work. It's primarily is not to sell it. It's, my obje objective is not sales. My objective is simply sharing my work and in the hopes that people will enjoy it. And perhaps, perhaps, if you're an artist and you you want some inspiration, I don't know. Perhaps you just enjoy. It parking off and listening to me talking rubbish. Even that's fantastic. Every which way is fine by me. But I, I do always welcome comment though. You'll notice me working kind of in a in an angle that, that works its way down as the eye traverses the surface and as the eye trajectory comes closer to the foreground. So we've got a we've we've got a vanishing point of sorts that 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 kind of goes over there somewhere, it's perhaps positioned out of the 
out of the image area. So, um, you know, um, and we'd have another vanishing point perhaps on that side, and another, you know, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Perhaps, perhaps we have a, and we also have a vanishing point in the middle. So, and then from that point, we also have a out of this way. So, well, not in the middle, um, because one should never have either a focal point or a vanishing point dead center in the image area. It's just a, it's just a rule of, a, a rule of composition. Not because it necessarily has to be that way, um, because when you look at something, um, an object that that object forms the center, your center point of, of uh, your focal point. But in in constructing an artwork or a photograph or something like that. Um, <clears throat> There's a, almost a grid that you, there's that, what's it called, Fibonacci cycle or, or, or the golden cycle, the golden cycle, um, where it kind of got this, this kind of snail curl that, 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 that expands out. And, and, but it's always going to be, there's a focal point somewhere not in the middle. Um, oh, hell, I didn't explain that at all well, but nevertheless, I'm just going to leave that because it's not important. <clears throat> but, well, it's not important to these proceedings. If I was doing a tutorial, it might be different. But it would be different. So just working in the charcoal at this point, just bringing up a little bit of the, the contrast, the darker areas, just working those up a little bit. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. And we're nearly, goodness me, okay, so we've got about um, seven, eight minutes left. That, that time went quickly today. What happens when you're having fun? But yes, we're simply setting up the basis of this piece, just letting it sort of. Sorry. Just letting it settle in and and find its balance so the other interesting factor about this piece is we've got this 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 foamy part of the wave which virtually bisects the the artwork um, and then in front of it, we've got a, a, a different, a different texture to behind it. Um, as the, as it, as the eye reaches out further out to see beyond the, towards the horizon. Um, and then you, it, it, the, the detail, the detail f drops away because it's kilometers out there. Um, and it becomes darker because um because you've got this virtually no uh, because the angle is so acute the angle of sight is so acute that there's very little in terms of reflection coming back at you so um becomes darker and but does adopt perhaps the uh the overall reflection of the sky color above
the influence of the sky color, the, the, the lightness or brightness of the sky. Um, um, the light changes the color of the sea. It's not the sea color that's changing, it's the color of the light. It's the, it's the, the kind of light. Like you'd find, for example, on a clear sunny day, you'd have this wonderful indigo um, um, ultramarine color to the seemingly color to the sea, the body of the sea. Um, on an overcast day, that would that would change to a more of a, a green and jade sort of uh, coloration. Um, on a on a on a on a day when there's tumultuous clouds and perhaps waves and whatever, then the, the, it takes on this steely grayness almost. Um, so, yeah. You can use color to to show mood very effectively because everything changes with cut with the with the with the, from the the influence of the sky above. Reflections change, refractions change. It's not only about the sea itself. be able to explain better things better as I progress with the with this series um, I'm not doing so very well today <laughs> for whatever reason I don't know why I can't focus today properly anyway it's okay of charcoal. Mm. I think that'll do for now. Ah, about three minutes left. So during the next session we'll work this up a, a, a fair amount more, start to introduce some color, sky perhaps. Now the other thing is, with an artwork you can do whatever you want to. It doesn't necessarily, because you've got certain influences of the sky above on on the sea that you have that the sky absolutely has to be blue and clear it can be I can leave it that gray of the paper but because because being an artwork being a story the you you the observer will fill in the rest your mind will fill in the rest that's the trick but for this one, I'm not sure. I think I'll I think I'll put in some sky blue.
Right, folks, I think it's time to pack it in for the day, for the session. progress so far and uh, we continue on the morrow so thank you for joining folks um, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the process so far and uh, as I said please make a comment um, wherever you would like and for whatever you would like um, I always welcome that so uh, yeah thank you for joining me today um, and I bid you a farewell and until until the next time, be good, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc., etc. And I'll be you oodles and oodles of toodles. Stuff like that. <laughs> okay, guys. See you again soon. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye. And don't forget to doodle.